Oh, did y'all hear that crunch? Hello everyone and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. It is so good to see everyone here today. If you're new, I am so glad you stopped by. Today I am going to show you how to make a crunch wrap. This is a Taco Bell copycat recipe. Now, it's gonna save you a lot of gas money to go to Taco Bell because you can just make it right at home. You ready? Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to get started is the ground beef because that is one of the layers in the crunch wrap. So you just need a large skillet. We're going to put it on medium high heat. And we're going to get the ground beef going. Now I love onion in my ground beef when I do any kind of taco dishes. So I'm going to add just a little slurry of some cooking oil. You can totally skip the onion step, but I'm telling you, it adds a nice kind of sweetness to it. I just diced this up. Love that sizzle. Okay, you wanna soften these down for about two to three minutes, give them a nice little color, and they'll be really delicious. Y'all like my merch? It's new, so y'all go check it out in the description box below, or you can go to my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com, and go into my store link, and you can check it out there. Yeah, I'm wearing an apron for you guys today. It's got two pockets right here. Really nice to put your kitchen towel in or other things. You put your phone in it. Okay, the onions are smelling delicious. We're gonna go ahead now. I'm going to add in one and a half pounds of ground beef. Okay, I'm going to break it up and then we're going to cook it until the ground beef is no longer pink and nice and brown. Okay, I'm just using my meat chopper here. I'll throw a link down below for it if you want to check it out. If you have one, let me know how you like it. Just comment down below. Okay, I've pushed the meat off to the side now that it's all browned up. I'm just gonna take some paper towels, take that grease out. This is a really fast and easy way to do it. That way you don't have to use another dish. All done. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and season our ground beef. I'm gonna be using some taco seasoning. Now you can use it like a pack and a half for a pound and a half of ground beef if you're using the one that you get from the store. I have a homemade blend that I use, that I make. I'm going to use about four tablespoons to flavor this. Now my homemade taco seasoning blend, you can find the recipe on my blog, katherinesplates.com. I even have a video for it on YouTube if you want to check that out. We're going to add a quarter cup of water kind of help get that absorbed into the meat. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper and salt. All right, we're gonna stir this all together. All right, once you got it all mixed together, we're gonna turn off the heat and let it sit. Okay, now what we're going to do is get everything ready that we're going to put inside of the crunch wrap together. I've got some salsa con queso. It's just a cheese sauce, and you can use any kind of cheese sauce that you want. If you have like a cheddar cheese sauce, nacho cheese sauce, or a dip. So this is already flavored with some salsa in it. We're going to place this in the microwave for one minute just to heat it up and get it cooked through. Okay, next we have tomatoes and lettuce. We're definitely going to put those inside there. I'm going to take a tomato. I'm going to slice it about three quarters of the way through, almost to the bottom of it. We're going to turn it around and we're going to slice it again the same way, three quarters of the way through to the bottom. Just turn it on its side and then we're going to slice through the slices to make dices. Kind of like you're dicing an onion. I think we're gonna do two of them. 
Use a very sharp knife, that helps to get through the slices without losing a lot of the juice. There we go. Okay, I have a head of iceberg lettuce. I'm just going to do about a quarter of this. And I'm just going to shred it very finely. And then turn it around. And have a nice, fine, small, thin strips. All right, I've got some olives. These are whole olives, so I'm just going to just give these a chop. If you have them already diced, that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to do very many because not a lot of people in my house like olives. We're building our board here, so it's all ready to go once we start the crunch wraps. Sour cream and our cheese sauce. All right, we've got our meat, we've got our toppings. Let's go ahead now and build our crunch wrap. First thing you're going to need are these burrito size flour tortillas. These are around 11 inches. Then you're going to need some tostadas. Now, these are yellow corn. They're flat and they're crunchy. They're about five inches round. Now heat up your tortillas in the microwave. You can just, to make them more pliable, so you can put them on your paper plate or microwave safe plate. Take a paper towel, wet it a little bit, put it on top, and then put it in for 20 seconds. We're going to lay down our burrito sized tortilla. Okay, we're going to take the cheese sauce and place two tablespoons in the center. place half a cup of the meat mixture on top of the cheese. All right, we're going to place the tostada shell on top of the meat mixture very carefully. We're going to put one tablespoon of sour cream on the tostada and then just kind of spread it carefully. And then we're going to top it with some lettuce, some tomato, and some olives. Okay, we're going to top that with a sprinkling of Mexican cheese blend. Now we're going to fold this. Go to the bottom of your tortilla, bring it up, and then go all the way around. Keep folding. And what we're going to do is flip it over. And get our grill ready. Okay, now what we want to do is get these crunch wraps nice and toasty. I'm going to be using just my griddle here so that I can get them all on here and get them done lickety split. Or you can even do them in a frying pan. Not a problem. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this nice and hot. When I say nice and hot, just put it on a medium heat. Once it starts getting a little warm, we're going to add some nonstick cooking spray. Now I'm just using an avocado spray. That's the only ingredient in here. Okay, you want to put your crunch wraps on your griddle or your frying pan seam side down first. That'll lock the seams in and then it won't spill out. Okay, it's going to take about two to three minutes on one side and we're just going to keep checking every so often to make sure that it's nice and golden brown and that we're not burning them. Okay, y'all, tell me what's going in your crunch wraps. <laughs> My husband's going to come in here and make his own, and he's going to be putting some jalapenos in them. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, it's getting there. Okay, y'all hear that sizzling going on? Must be hotter on this side of my grill. <laughs> this one's ready to flip. So just take it, flip it over. Look at that color. Yeah. All right, two to three minutes on these. Just keep checking the back side and making sure they're nice and golden brown. And we're gonna finish this one off here. Look at that. We're gonna take these off. I'm gonna consider that one done. It's nice and golden brown on all sides. You know, sometimes they may burst, <laughs> but they stay together, which is great. Cause you got the cheese in there holding everything together on both sides. What a fun way to eat a Taco Bell, Coffee Cat, Crunch Wrap, right in your home, something you made. We're going to take our Crunch Wrap and we're going to take a sharp knife and cut right through it. Oh, did y'all hear that crunch? Yeah. Y'all want to take a look? Here's my bite. Mm. That is so darn close to Taco Bell, but you can make your own. Mm. That's delicious. I think it might be that cheese sauce in there. It's that got con queso. That's really good. Okay, if you're liking these, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank you so much for coming, and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification down below. That way, you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. All right, everyone, I'll see you on my next episode.